Knock Crew, what it do? It's your boy Shellknock back with another Spider Man Remastered Edition game, and we've got episode four, so let's get into it. Oh, let's see what we got here. There's the stage entrance, Officer and Davis. We'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends? Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this, we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um. Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could... You know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch Damn. you suffer. Okay. Miles! Miles, are you okay? Miles! Miles! Peter! Peter. Ain't no Spider-Man right now. Miles! Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? 
I feel like I heard this song a lot, but not even, oh, my PS4 screen had this sound when I got the Spider-Man thing. Peter's like, Peter, Peter's like, hmm, all right, Peter, the homie. Need to get around somehow. <clears throat> Whoa! I almost got freaking merch. Oh, that's not a bright idea. I ain't gonna cap with you, homie. That's not even a smart idea. Got merch. You sure you okay? Yes, I'm gonna be alright. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be alright. I'm gonna be alright. All right, Lisa. I, 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 I have to go find Dad, okay? No, wait. Miles, no. Miles, no! Dad's in there. I'll find him. Kids risking it all. He was right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? You gotta turn, right? Ain't no way you're just gonna keep looking this way. Ain't no way he's not gonna turn, right? Kid is risking it all right now.
Dad was right there. Gotta help him. Now. To her brother. No! Enough! We have to leave. Now! Saved by the bell, Miles. Dad. Dad. Morales happen. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Not a great way to start the episode. Jeez. I'm sorry, Jeff. Hey, it's me. Hey, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking I screwed up and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on me? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. Yeah. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. It makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. Huh, sounds a little far-fetched. This is coming from a guy who... 
I'm gonna do the rest of that, but I can't stop gravity. Right. Place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, high security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. Here you go. Let's see what we got here. Blueprints. 
truck bombs? This is crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Hmm. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. <sighs> be careful. All right, time to get going. Give him a little chip. Dude, your clothes are soaking, dude. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Go into Lee's office. Such a sneaky... Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. May said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Not nice people here. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Only sus people cool. lock things. Uh, you find the key. Uh. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Was no one around? seen that room before hey man I want to observe it um, base of operations where is that even at all right it's like over here whoa what the oh. there okay high voltage lines socio Obama hamburger so right there I understand but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Hmm. What would Ben do? Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm seeing a folder, a picture, a hidden drawer. Let's see what we got. Nice journal. A key. I'll take that. I wonder where the lock is. Hmm. Oh, the camera changes quick. That room I saw oh, from the crawl space. The shrine in the photo should be right on the other side the of the shrine. 
Why am I getting two voices at once? Let's chill out. Dear May. Very senior. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hmm. Hope this yeah. means she's out of danger. Me too. Uh, I think there's one more thing to look at before we hit the shrine. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. That's the mask. The demon that could That's only be the mask. Reader, come on. I know you're young, but I think it's pretty darn obvious what's going on here. Is there the shrine? That picture is got to go. Oh, keyhole. Hmm. There it is. Some kind of puzzle lock. No, no, no. It's not a, It's not that big of a puzzle. Watch. That seems right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see. Alrighty. Looking good. Whoa. I feel like it should be obvious that it's like. Alright, well, there's a glowing dagger what to my hungry? right. There's literally a glowing dagger to my right. You know what he's hiding, man? He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? No, oh, look at all these pretend pictures. Until he became one. What a weirdo. Creepy. So we have that and that. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. I'll take that. I feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. I don't know about that, but. Uh oh. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Bruh. No, How do you just how casually... Get out of here? How do you just casually come down here? Oh, we can move that. Oh, I don't have to do it. I thought I did. Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee, I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? We just got caught. Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. At an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Sus. Look at him. His eyes are glowing. He knows. He knows. I know he knows.
Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Mm. Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. All right. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be this uses this big mind of mine. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Hmm. I saw that. One thing I didn't see that you're like hurting, man. Oh, my. I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. 
What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Great little scene. Missed a call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. All right, all right, all right. Well, that is the end of episode four. I think this will probably be a shorter one. Uh, it was kind of more story than any action, really. So I think we're just going to cut this one here as I'm getting interrupted by gunshots. Unbelievable. This it's all full of distractions. Like, comment, subscribe for more. We're going to get the rest of this out for you guys. And I'm out of here. Yeah,